All right. Good morning, everybody. It is June nineteenth, two thousand eighteen. Um, this video is gonna. I'm not gonna try to make it real short, but I'm just gonna go ahead and touch on some more information on Hawaii, uh, Kilauea, and Mauna Loa. I um, so over the past couple of days, I've been just kind of reading over stuff and just going over you know, charts and data and whatnot. And uh, I found this video from 2006. I'm going to play a little bit of it. And this is going to kind of put in perspective what I'll be looking at today for you. Oh, whoops, wrong button. As Mauna Loa is preparing for eruption, the southwest rift zone of Mauna Loa inflates with magma. The entire mountain swells, which means that the outer slopes get steeper. Okay, so if we're going any further, he said the south southwest rift zone so right here okay there are probably a, a succession of small earthquakes a succession of small earthquakes uh, this is just a day's track uh, but I'm gonna assume he means more on by Mauna Loa which we're starting to get and then maybe a big earthquake that shakes loose this very steep western flank of the volcano so before I continue this, what he's talking about is not the Helena slump or the Helena slip process. This is an entirely different part of the island that in this video they had hypothesized that it would collapse on its own. And I will show you where the area is at. Um, if I can find the map again. Where you at map? Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so he's talking about over here. Now if you look at the chart, this pink the pink is no it says landslide potential and so is the red so in the video it talks about that whole area slipping almost 1500 cubic kilometers of earth and rock plummet into the sea on impact the land displaces a massive amount of water the ocean rushes back to fill the giant gap. From this cataclysmic disturbance emerges the tsunami, heading directly for Honolulu. Estimated time to impact, 30 minutes. This is the direction that a, a big tsunami would come from, uh, from, from the big island. The wave first becomes visible as it stands and breaks on a shallow bank, 40 kilometers southeast of Honolulu. You'd see the sea rear up in front of you. It would be huge. It would rise up above you the size of a building, the size of, of a, a 10 story building. Surging inland at up to 70 kilometers per hour, the tsunami slams Honolulu. Okay, so now take that image of which we're, what we just saw. Now that can happen, as they were saying, on the west or southwestern flank of Mauna Loa. Uh, which I don't know why, which I'm going to start trying to pay more attention to that side. Um, but this was the side they had talked about. Um, but what I've been putting my information out on and what I've seen a lot of, and we're going to track that today of how much this area over here is slipping, is what's known as Helena, which is another pink area, which is known to have a landslide potential. Um, so we'll come over here to the USGS and this is just a day's tracking right now and we've had a couple of deep earthquakes which are the ones you want to really track because that's where for some ground movements going on ah, i did not mean to click every time i click one of these links on this website i swear it lags for me um the entire area of kilauea is just i mean blowing up and uh, where where is it where is it? okay so this chart was sent to me by a, uh, not a subscriber but a viewer and I kind of like it now I wasn't able to find these earlier which I I, I, I knew about these I just didn't know where to find them but uh, I appreciate you sending them to me um, and one thing I want to bring to your attention from looking at the uh, yeah here we go so the green line right here rep represents uh, Pu'u O'o its cone which is about right here this area right here uh, this is where Kilauea is at okay so Pu'o is located almost essentially right here on the fault system so if, if this is Kilauea right here let's go back um, I, I'm gonna say 
It, yeah, it's almost right. It's right there in Helena, right in the area. And we're, we're going to track how much it's actually been slipping and how much it's falling down. So this is 19th. One second. Okay. So this is Puo's comb. This is the halt where I wanted to show you. Um, and this is the only unfortunate part. There's only updated till May. So I actually may not even look it up because it's not. Gonna, the, okay, here we go. Here's a little better one. So this is updated to. Uh, oh, I lied. I thought they said June of 2018. This is January of 2018. Well, unfortunately, then neither one of these are going to be accurate readings. So that's. And see, that's what, that's what I was complaining about in my first video when I put this out. USGS is not doing the job of giving us updated information. I mean, I, I need up to date of what's going on. I don't because if it just doesn't help me. That's why I have. That's why I've been using my NSARS, and I attempted to do an NSAR map this morning, but it wasn't up. Like they haven't updated it yet, so I think I have to wait a couple, uh, either no, probably another day or two, and it should be up. Um. So keep in mind what you had just watched on Mauna Loa. It mentioned that you see swelling which is right over here on the left side on the southwest southwest rift zone so and as, as I showed you in previous videos the volcanoes share so that's why it goes through all and it goes through actually three volcanoes too but you don't see the little one uh, low I can't say its name but it's like L O I H I low I I don't know I'm terrible at saying these names it's out here though out in the ocean um, I'm gonna pull up real quick the so right now these are all the volcanoes that are erupting and I uh, just want to kind of give you an update of the locations and just what we've seen so far but I also wanted to show you what are now in the warnings these are all warnings that it could be coming that are all within two weeks of eruption so orange which is what all these are considered in right now all the orange ones um, intensively increasing of seismic uh, seismicity was supported by other volcanic monitoring obvious changes of visual observation and crater based on observation data analysis the activity will be followed by the main eruption uh, if the train continues the eruption could be possible within two weeks so if you look at that um, that's a lot of volcanoes as I was saying in my um, the volcanism video how many volcanoes can we have go off until we start getting almost essentially a block out of the sun? Now I know every volcano is not going. If we'd almost, I don't know how many. Like I said, I don't know how many we need to essentially all go off to start where we start noticing effects on the climate. Because if one just just one super volcano goes off, that's enough to produce a three, four, five year volcanic uh, volcanic winter. So how many of these volcanoes do we need to equal one super volcano? Is essentially what I'm asking. You know, do we need all these to erupt to block out the sun or do we just need a couple more and um, you know like stuff like that now I, I don't know you know I just um, it's something I don't know I've been I'm gonna start asking around see if anyone else knows um, this is another live earthquake map and I've never seen this happen before on this website usually see how this is just spaced out it's kind of normal you, know, you can read it I've never seen it how it was down here before I've never seen that to where it's it's they can't put enough in there this is all Hawaii Hawaii and Alaska there's been a lot of a lot of action going on in Alaska recently <clears throat> but I in my opinion I think it's I mean there's um, hold on I'll show you volcanoes all right here these are all volcanoes and then there's also um, there's two volcanoes up here as well but well, I believe both of them are actually active they've been active pull up the map real quick so it was Katamai. Let's head back up to our rest. There we go. Oh, it froze. One second. Well, anyways, if you go back and check that, you'll see what I'm saying. I didn't mean to. Uh, I knew as soon as I hit all, it was going to freeze like that. There is a volcano somewhere up there. I know that. But maybe it's not active. But um, as I said, here in Alaska, we're getting a lot of activity now. The whole plate, though, is, if you haven't noticed, it's moving. It's fracturing. We're getting tons of activity over here on the West Coast. Getting activity down here. Um, 
You know, I, I think you need, if you haven't already, you need to start paying attention. Take it on yourself, kind of look into things, see where the movement's happening, see what's going on. And I mean, ultimately you can't prepare for everything. It, you know, as long as you just have a backup plan, have maybe some food stored up, you know, maybe a safe place to go and just stay up to date with the news. It's all you can really do. Um, but unfortunately I can't, you know, I really wish I could see how much the Helena slump or the Helena fault system and whatnot is slipping. Because uh, from the NSAR radar, I really can't tell. I mean, it's for sure dropping. And if you watch my previous video, there's four stages to the system. So it, it's going to whoops, 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 whoops. It'll go up and then it'll slump all the way down. It's like, um, I, I don't know why it does that, but that, that's, that's what the diagram is, what the depiction showed was the four stage process of the line of falling. But as I said, since we started this video, I brought it to your attention that this area for some reason was in their minds in like 2006. Yeah, this was made in 2006. And they were talking about the, uh, the Western flank of Mauna Loa. So if you didn't know, as I said, start paying attention to that side of the mountain. Cause maybe that's where the real, maybe that's where the real problem is going to be. Or maybe both sides we need to pay attention to. Maybe both sides are at risk. Cause that, I mean, that would just make the situation a thousand times worse. Um, I'll go ahead and link everything and you see here that I've brought up to you. Um, I also found this nice little, this is made like 2005, like a little catalog or not catalog, but like just kind of document whoever's trip this was. They have all types of pictures and just kind of nice to sit there and read about if you'd like. Um, but that's all I have. I'm going to have another video coming out here in just a little bit. I want to do, I want to look more into Yellowstone. But I can only go off so much information and I feel like it's almost the whole Yellowstone topic is really saturated. So I really don't want to talk about something that someone's probably already covered in depth highly. You know what I'm saying? Like someone's probably already put a lot of time and effort into it and has probably already presented it in a professional manner. Um, but I will try to take a look at the new erupting volcanoes maybe and um, start paying attention to that possibly eruption here in California of, of volcanoes. So as I said, that's um, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do for my next video. So I hope you get, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, sorry I haven't posted in the past couple of days, but uh, I plan on getting right back into it. Have a great day.